One thing you can do to keep Metasoft running smoothly and with as few errors as possible popping up on you is to run file maintenance. And we recommend you run file maintenance on a fairly regular basis to keep your Metasoft running smoothly and with as few errors. The way to do that is to first of all make sure everyone is out of the practice that you're going to be working on. And then once we know everyone's out, we just click on File, File Maintenance. Now that's going to bring up the maintenance window. And it has four tabs in it. We're going to deal with just three tabs today, the rebuild indexes, the pack data, and the recalculate balances. And we're going to leave purge data alone. It's best never to mess with that. So we're going to start here with the rebuild indexes. And there's a lot of things that it can process here. And instead of just picking and choosing and trying to figure out what's best, we're just going to click on all files. Same thing on the pack data tab here. It's got a lot of things to choose from. We're just, again, going to choose all files. And then we go to the Recalculate Balances tab and we check all the boxes available in there. And then we're going to run it or start it. Once we start and click OK, it goes through its process. Now, depending on the size of your data, depends on the length of time it takes to do all this. The bigger the data, the older and longer the data, the longer it's going to take. Now, this was a test database and only had a few patients in it, so it took very few uh, minutes just to go through that whole process, but don't be alarmed if when you run file maintenance that it's going on for a half hour, 45 minutes, or even more. If you've got a lot of data, it could take that long to do it. But if you run file maintenance on a regular basis, like we've been saying throughout this whole video, it's going to make your Metasoft run smoother and have fewer errors in the future.